Yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty weird, I guess. Uh, a lot of you know things I haven't seen in a, in a while. Uh, a lot of memories came back to me. Um, and it's been it's been a lot of fun. You know, practicing in the same place that we practice with the fusion and um, see some old faces they haven't seen in, a, in quite a long time. So it's been it's been great. It's it's amazing how quick it's it's happened. Um, you know, you, by the time you look back, and there's 12 years of professional soccer. And it's pretty, uh, it's pretty wild to think that it's uh, that long. Man, so many things I guess are different. Um, I mean, back then I was playing. You know, we didn't really know where I was playing. You know, I was a young kid coming from an under-17 national team that kind of was, you know, an attacking midfielder. Um, to come into a veteran team, you know, with a, a veteran coach uh, that wasn't really trying to give, you know, the the reins to the team at 18. Um, he you know, we had players that were established and, and some really good players. We had uh, up top Diego Serna, Alex Pineda Chacon, uh, Preki was in the midfield, Chris Henderson, Jim Rooney, Ian Bishop, Lazo Alavagna. Um, you know, had Pablo Mastrani at you know in the back, uh, Carlos Yumosa, Ivan McKinley, Brian Dunseth, Nick Romando was just starting out. You know that 2001 Miami Fusion team. You know from week one to the end end of the season was in first place the whole time and that's uh you know it doesn't happen a lot it's you know that's tough to to stay that um you know concentrated and focused and dialed in the whole season and not really stumble much and so um to be able to see that you know really close um it, it just helped me see where you know a team needs to be to to be in first when the team folded i went to colorado and in between that tr that uh off season there was a Project 40 trip that we took um, to Germany, and uh, you know we started to play there a little bit, and um, kind of found it better to be in the middle of the field um, where I was used to, you know, growing up, and um, rather than the outside, and it kind of fit me well. You know, you get a lot of touches, and you can kind of, you know, I'm calm, calm on the ball, and um, so. I was able to really get in that defensive midfield spot and, and really um, adjust to it. It's gratifying when you can you know, let four and five players go and attack and, and feel comfortable to freely attack and knowing that you know, they got you as long with uh, you know, four in the back and a, and a strong goalkeeper that's going to you know, do that defending to make sure that everything will be fine, to have no fear to, to attack and that we'll be just fine back here and to get them the ball back and let them do their stuff again. It's been great to get back in with the, the full team. Um, it, it, you know, it's always an honor. It's always, you play with so much pride when you put on a you know, national team jersey. Um, so anytime you get the opportunity, you don't take it for granted one bit. And uh, you really try and make the U.S. fans proud of you. It's, um, it's a blast. Anytime you come in, uh, your level raises. You know, everybody's an awesome player. And um, the coaching staff's been a lot of fun to work with. And, um, yeah, I'm just hoping to you know continue it as long as I can and 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 just be ready for any time you're asked to come into a camp.